Uh, I'm going to get some new batteries for this thing. <coughs> it's like these little bunch of old batteries. Two of them. I mean, it's the thing from testing my uh, blood sugar levels for the diabetes. But, uh, it's all that occurred to me, it's sort of like, it's been a year since I uh, got diagnosed basically. So it's sort of like, being sort of like probably more educational for people and stuff like that. Very uh, helpful for other people that might have diabetes out there. And probably the reasons why they say no to, you know, soft drink and all that sort of thing. But, uh, it's... For the start of us, it's all like diabetes, you know, it's type 1 diabetes and it's type 2 diabetes, which I got the type 2. And it's pretty much so like the, the glucose or the energy that goes into your bloodstream and so like gets transferred to various parts of your body, you know, mostly to your muscles and stuff like that. So you get that energy for the day, basically. Uh, so like type 1 is not producing enough. Type 2 is producing too much of that, you know, glucose levels. So, you know, uh, type 1 is sort of like more for come come about from from uh, young children and stuff like that being diagnosed and as soon as you went where they have to start doing insulin and stuff like that, where type 2 is the other way around where, you know, just you need to be careful with, what sort of food I eat and stuff like that and take the tablets that help with uh or yeah help with uh deal with the blood sugar levels and whatnot so sort of very funny mark so sort of like okay dangly depressing tablets so I'm sort of like taking a tablet to bring me up for when I'm down and taking a diabetic tablet so it bring me down from being up. So, <laughs> it's, um, it, it has a little bit of a change in stuff like that, you know, I've always seem to be eating right and stuff like that, you know, or best I can do with, you know, what I can afford. So, you know, it's sort of like the type of things, you know, sort of like, got the wheat picks <laughs> and all that, and, uh, you know, winter time, I, you know, being a bit cooler, do some porridge, and that's you know, that's fine. But you know, doing something like a bit more sugary, like Fruit Loops or something like that, there's you know, definitely a no no. Uh, you know, careful what sort of bread I have, so you know, multi grain or wholemeal bread so, you know, for lunches and stuff like that, and careful what I have for lunch and all that. So, like doing the thing of having crumb fish and chips is pretty much had to be thrown out the window. <coughs> You know, eating, eating out, they're definitely, whether they avoid Maccas and stuff like that, for, except for a coffee. But, uh, you know, we probably could eat right when you eat out and stuff like that. You know, certain takeaways like Chinese or Thai or Indian or something like that, that you'd be all fine. Probably eating at a cafe and stuff like that, you know, it's, it's probably okay, you know, as long as you don't have cake or a small amount of cake or something like that, you know, but cafe I like to go to down at Grantham, the floating cafe, that, uh, you know, does the thing of savoury mints or quiche and salad, so, you know, as you go for something like that, uh, you know, meals, you know, just really have to cut back on the carbohydrate sort of thing, so, you know, like I said, pasta has been thrown out, I've replaced it with a so sort of like a lentil base with various beans and peas and stuff like that as a pasta and uh you know i've, I've had to re throw out the potatoes basically you yeah, the good old irish potatoes white potatoes uh, the sweet potato is good so that's why i keep it on my plate uh, stuff like uh you know definitely corn Especially corn on the cob, that's you know pretty much run out. I usually just might have canned corn and maybe do a teaspoon, you know, a tablespoon or two on a salad during the summertime. Uh, what else is there? Oh, fruit, yes, fruit. Uh, 
well, grapes are out because grapes are full of seeds, which is pretty amazing actually because the grape seed is a good antioxidant. The grape itself is bad because of the sugar levels. <laughs> Fancy that. But, um, you know, certain fruits are definitely out, like the grapes, uh, pineapple, even though I might skimp on some on a pizza or something like that. Uh, yeah, pretty, I think mango is another one there that's probably in there that's pretty bad. Uh, but, you know, uh, citrus fruit and apples are, are good, good because they're more of an antioxidant more than a, a sugar, sugar rush type of fruit. Uh, only thing is, is uh, probably when it comes to dry fruit, like dried apricots or apples or uh, you know, those banana chips and stuff like that, they have to get thrown off bananas altogether. They have to uh, throw out and watermelon. But, um, so, for and all, that's pretty much how it might be a bit of a change and stuff like that. So, I usually do a treat, treat myself and do like a, like a berry, berries and cream for lunch or something like that once every so often. So, you know, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. Kiwi fruit with some thick and cream. That's all good. You know, still have to drink my coffee. And I'll go be careful how much coffee I actually have. It's one thing I've sort of like been noticing of sort of like doing my early morning wake up. The blood sugar test levels is it's gone a bit high because I probably have a bit too much in the way of coffee when the cold nights is sort of like something warm to hold on to. But uh But yeah, all in all, it's all I try and keep that sort of normal life, you know, keep a vigilance and stuff like that. So, yeah, I was sort of like that little short I did with uh, needing to do go through a bit of a medical just to get my driver's license and stuff like that, or driver's license renewal, and uh, and all that, and um, yeah, so. I go get resubscribed and everything else like that with that and the diabetes uh, and the uh, antidepressants that's the word I was looking for and you know I have to go for the eye test once a year and um, also get these things checked out <laughs> as well with my feet because um, apparently the diabetes is still like where well, the symptoms is still like le losing nerves Nerves, um, nerves start to fail in the feet. It's sort of like you see that thing of having people, uh, people with diabetes might have had their legs amputated and stuff like that. So that's the leading cause. So I've got to be observant with my feet and everything else like that. So I put forward a thing for, um, for a Medicare plan to see a podiatrist or, you know, one of those foot doctors to, uh, get my feet tested and stuff like that, so you make sure I've still got some nerves down there. But, um, yeah. That's about it, really. You still get old, normal old Woody, basically. <laughs> so, I hope that's sort of like a little bit on the helpful side, but, um, see subscribing down below, and until next time, have a good one.